In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can import a credit dyno credit report inside of Dispute Panda. Very simple. When you go to your client, go to your documents tab, you will see something that looks like this. In the credit monitoring name section, select credit dyno. In the username, put in the email address that you or your client use to log into credit dyno. And for your password, you will use the password that you use to log into credit dyno as well. You must have an active subscription for this to work. Your next step will be click Credit Dino one click import. You'll wait between five to 10 seconds. Once your import is successful, you will see a message Credit Dino import successful. And also, you can use this same feature for re importing in 35 days from now. You do not have to remove anything, you simply click the one click import and it will re import the credit report brand new from Credit Dino. It does a auto refresh for you. So, that is your tutorial on how you import Credit Dino. The only requirement is that you have an active Credit Dino account and that the username and password is correct. And then you can navigate to your disputing tab to see your negative items if your account has them. This particular account doesn't have any negative items. Now let's analyze some additional features you get with Credit Dino. Let's look at this revolving credit card from Capital One. We're going to click the I here. It's going to open up and show you some account health and information per bureau. So, for example, on this account is reported open with the creditor on each account here. It's also showing you the account number as you need it. And then it shows you your limit versus your balance and how much you're actually using. In your payment history section, you will get up to seven years of payment history, which is very effective when it comes to deciding if you want to challenge a late payment or not. More importantly, it also gives you an advantage when you want to use factual disputing. So say that in 2019 in May, that this account was marked as 30 days late you can go into factual disputing mode by hitting add custom message and then you can type in your reasoning there and what you want. You also can thumb through this area as well for your factual disputing to determine what you would like to challenge. So say you challenged this last month or so and you notice that the dispute status says in, which technically is a violation because if you challenge something, it should display a proper dispute status or you want it to use the factual disputing or consumer law to attack that specific late payment for May, you can do that very easily with the additional information that you get with Credit Dino. Go to your dashboard and click become an affiliate. Fill out this information and you should receive an email with your Credit Dino login as well as your affiliate link to instantly receive commissions and instantly be able to share credit data with your clients and loved ones. If you would like additional options for credit monitoring, you simply can send an email to support at creditdino.com and they can provide you all the details as far as free co-branding, unlimited sponsorships, additional affiliate commission options. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to keep track of commissions, co-branding, sponsorships, all within Credit Dino's easy and transparent partners view. So you will navigate to partners.creditdino.com and you will log in with the username and password that you've used to create your affiliate account or that was provided to you. You will hit submit. Now once inside, you will see several options. If you have a lot of affiliate links set up, you could see those there, but you also have the ability to set up your co-branding, which is 100% free with Credit Dino. You also have the ability to see various reporting here, which will break down everything from the last 30 days down to all time if you want to. If you scroll down a bit, you can break things down by calendar view and things like that. So you can even see things that occurred based off on a daily basis. Your co-branding here, co-branding is free for lifetime access. You can easily set that up by clicking the setup button and you can upload your logo and things like that. So when your clients or your customers go to your Credit Dino link, they will see your logo. 
You also have sponsor codes here, and this is where you can sponsor clients, which means your clients won't pay for the credit monitor commission, but you will. So it's a scenario where if you did not want to have a separate credit monitoring and a separate fee for your services, you can bundle that together. You also have the ability to manage your customers here. So you can search for all of your customers to manage their subscriptions if you want to, if you wanted to cancel them out, or you can see all your customers here, which gives you a view of all the customers that you currently have in the system. And you can look this up by customer status, you can look by their payment method, whether it's a credit card or a sponsor code. You can also search by enrollment date. You can use the various drop downs here to manipulate that. You can also search by billing status. Are they in good status or delinquent? You also can manipulate your payout details here. And your payout details allow you to set up your automatic payments, which occur between the first and the 10th of each month. You do require to have a minimum $100 payout threshold before you will receive commissions. So just keep that in mind as well. But you can update your payment details, which allows you to get an automatic ACH like clockwork. You can review your payment history, view the payment details for that as well. You also have account settings. Account settings allow you to change your email address if you want to, allows you to change your password, allows you to change your name, and it allows you to manipulate the retailer settings. And retailing settings are scenarios for your different affiliate links. So each of these IDs that you might see here and it has a friendly name, you can generally name it the commission structure that you have. So maybe you want to call this one seven day trial to $29.99. And maybe you had an, and you hit update there and that fixes it. So it allows you to see inside of it on your home page. It allows you to see your settings, how you would like to see them. And then once you go home here, you will see some of these things might have changed also. As you see, the campaign name has changed to seven day trial to twenty nine ninety nine. The commission payout there is there in the middle, the name of the product. And then, of course, the links will be to the right of that. And there you have it. That is your easy view dashboard for Credit Dino account. Now, if you do have any comments, questions, or concerns regarding anything for Credit Dino, please send an email to support at credit dot com. Once again, please send an email to support at creditdino.com and they will gladly assist you as well. Thank you for watching. An additional thing I wanted to mention here, when you're within your documents tab, make sure you're uploading three forms of ID. Ideally, you want to use a driver's license or some form of state ID. As you click here, you see this is a driver's license. And then ideally you would like to use a social security number as well. If you double click here, it will stop the blur. And then we also have a passport here. So the key will be make sure your driver's license, passport, and social security, the name on across all three of those documents are exactly the same. And then for your proof of identity and your proof of address, if you're using a driver's license or state ID that has a name and address and your proof of address has a name and address, make sure it all matches. So ideally, if you provide three forms of ID with matching name and two forms of ID with matching address and the IDs on all these things match, you will have a greater chance of having success with your attacking